Hey, welcome back to another video for our photo app. Now, in the previous app, we were able to take a photo. So remember, we have a take photo button, we check the uh, photo as okay, and then when it returns, we want that photo to actually save inside of this image view. And so that's what we're going to implement next. So in the code that we've created in the previous video, we called this method called dispatch picture intent. And we copied this code directly from a tutorial at the official Android website. So let's uh, start back in this page again and scroll down a little further. And let's, the next section says, get the thumbnail. So the simple feat of taking a photo is not the culmination of your projects. Okay, you probably want to get the image back. So here is a simple way to capture the thumbnail. Now notice it says thumbnail here. So a thumbnail is a low resolution picture. It'll uh, not be something we'll keep, but it will work. So let's uh, copy this and let's come back into our code. Now we're gonna introduce a new function here. And when we code here, this is called on activity result. Now this is a key Android concept. So anytime you call an intent and expect data to come back, this function is the data listener. So whether you listen for a GPS location or a photo or a text message, on activity result is the guy that's there to respond. So he is your door greeter. And the first thing inside of the door greeter's job is to say, what kind of request did I look for? So it says here, if the request code is request image capture, which we've defined up here. So it's going to actually be a one, right? So if this equals one, and the result code comes back as okay, so the user clicked the check mark or the okay button, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to unbundle something called extras. So remember a bundle, you may have seen in previous videos, a bundle is a way to pass data from one activity to another. We're going to get something called extras. And the data that comes from that extra is the actual bitmap. So bitmap looks like it needs to be imported. And then after we uh, set the bitmap, we're going to display it. So let's see, this is not the right name. Our name for our image view is IV Photo. And then we will set it to the bitmap. So that should work. This is a response to the camera app. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay, it looks like the app is up and running. So let's attempt to take a photo here. And when we bring up the camera app, we should be able to look at our kitchen again, or if you hold down the Alt key, you can look at somewhere else. Let's click the camera icon. Hopefully we get a check mark, we do. And then there is our image. So you were hoping for something bigger? Well, that's what's coming in the next video. So this captures a very, very small version of your photo and it's called the thumbnail. But it does work. It shows us that our application called the camera, the intent was sent out, the result activity uh, was sent back to our app, and we were able to capture the data and put it in, a, in an image. So in the next video, we're going to capture a higher resolution image, and we're going to save it to a file so we can use it again and again in our gallery.